Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, it's me, MLG, and welcome for another new science learning session with me, your teacher, M. Okay, so I'm so happy because we're done everything. We're done with the modules that we have from module 1 up to module 5. So we have Newton's Law of Motion, um, we talk about sound, gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, light, and we're now here talking about module 6, and that is Ohm's Law. Well, you know guys, um, before I start my lesson, as always, you know that I'll be reading the learning competencies and as well as the objectives. So for today's particular module, this is the learning competency. Okay, I'll be reading the learning competency. Infer the relationship between current and voltage. In your day ones, it talks about current, voltage, and resistance relationship. Here are the objectives. Discuss the relationship of current to voltage and resistance in an electric circuit. Second, solve problems involving Ohm's law. Alright, those are the essential competencies as well as the objectives of this, of this lesson about Ohm's law. So I am not going to dwell more of the concept because you have read it one part of the vlog that I have. And I'll be focusing on the computation um, involving the different quantities of Ohm's law. Well, to help you understand further about the lesson, let me read these things. Okay, Ohm's Law. The Ohm's Law defines the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. These basic electrical units apply to direct current or alternating current. Ohm's Law is the foundation of electronics and electricity. This formula is used extensively by electricians. Without a thorough understanding of Ohm's Law, an electrician cannot design or troubleshoot even the simplest of electronic or electrical circuits. Ohm established in the late 1820s that if a voltage was applied to resistance, then current would flow and then power would be consumed. Ohm or Ohm's Law was derived from the name of a scientist, George Simon Ohm. Okay. So in your module class, you have these three quantities like voltage, resistance, and current. So when we say voltage, okay, voltage is measured in volts, okay, measure in volts, and then symbolized by the letters either either V or E. Well, for the current, it measured in amps, symbolized by the letter I, and by and for the resistance, it measured in ohms, symbolized by the letter R and represented by the units like Greek letter, Greek letter Omega. Well, in your module, you have this table. So it was divided into four columns like quantity, symbol, unit of measurement, unit of abbreviation. So for the quantity, we have three quantities um, involving in the um, Ohm's law. We have current, voltage, and resistance. And the symbol, as I mentioned earlier, that when you say current, it is represented by capital letter I. If it's voltage, it could be E or V. E stands for the electromotive force or the EMF. And we have resistance, R. So in terms of unit of measurement, current is an ampere or amp. Voltage is volt. Resistance, ohm. And for the unit of abbreviation, of course, for the current, we have for current, capital letter A. Voltage, we have capital letter V. And of course, resistance, we have this Greek letter that is omega. I hope that you can master that table because it can be used when dealing with computations or solving equations. Okay, so like any other problem or any other equation uh, or deriving equation, Ohm's law also has this magic triangle. So obviously we have V, I, and R. So we, we arrived at three equations here. So in order going to find voltage, we just simply multiply current and resistance. When you're going to find out the resistance, you simply divide, okay, voltage divided by current. And if you're going to find current, you just have to do voltage divided by resistance. And that is the magic triangle for ohms. All right, in your module, so you encounter this thing. All right, let's see how these equations might work to help us analyze simple circuits. So that drawing... Um, signifies or shows a simple circuit wherein it has a battery and of course you have electric lamp it's glowing and of course there's an electron flowing on it 
So if we know the values of any two types or three quantities like voltage, current, and resistance in this circuit, we can use Ohm's law to determine the third. All right, so let me go over. So for example, we have this problem. Calculate the amount of current in a circuit given values of voltage or E and resistance. Again, do not be confused with V and E because it's just the same. It's just the same like it is still voltage. So resistance depends on the size of the wire. Thick wire, remember thick wire, thick wire less resistance, thin wire more resistance. The longer the wire, the more resistance. The shorter the wire, the less resistance. And for the current depends on the resistance in the circuit. Greater resistance, less current. Less resistance, the greater the current. And for the voltage, it depends on the voltage source. Greater potential difference means greater voltage. Bay the Ohm's law means a conductor has a constant resistance regardless of the voltage. To obey Ohm's law means a conductor has a constant resistance regardless of the voltage. If you know two of the three variables, you should be able to solve for the third. When using Ohm's law, you always use the three-step form. First, write the equation. Second, replace the known values. Third, solve the problem. And last, label with the correct unit of measure. Okay, class, just reminder, when solving a problem involving Ohm's law, you have to note the three things. First, write the equation. Second, replace the known values. Third, solve the problem. And last, label the correct unit of measurement. Okay, so now, it's time for us to have a practice problem. Okay, so I'll give you the practice problem. Solve it now. In a circuit, point 0.5A is flowing through the bulb. The voltage across the bulb is 4.0 voltage. What is the bulb's resistance? Again, in a circuit, in a circuit, 0.5 ampere is flowing through the bulb. The voltage across the bulb is 4.0 voltage. In a circuit, 0.5 amperes flowing through the bulb. The voltage across the bulb is 4.0 V. What is the bulb's resistance? Again, in answering that one, please follow the pattern that I gave a while ago. Alright, so write, write the equation. Replace the known values. Solve and label with the correct unit of measurement. Please answer that one. Alright, so again, that's all for Ohm's law. That's, the, that's how we're going to solve the... That's how we're going to solve dealing the Ohm's law, dealing with the three quantities like voltage, resistance, and current. So I hope that you have learned something for this lesson in your module 6, although it's very easy. Please be careful in labeling the units, okay? Alright, so that's all for today, and bye everyone!